location in Butler, Pennsylvania, is a crime scene as the investigation begins into how this happened. Secret Service were obviously on scene and responded quickly, but law enforcement recovered an AR-style rifle there. How did it go unnoticed? NBC 10 Sam Reed spoke with a national security expert about it. Sam? Ryan Patrice, I spoke with Dr. Robert Sanders. He's the former chair of national security who tells me after those first shots were fired, more than likely the shooter was dead within seconds. Once again, chaos consumes America. We have uh, entered into some very dangerous times in America where political violence is acceptable to some. 6.15 Saturday evening, gunshots rang out during a Trump rally. According to the Secret Service, the suspected shooter fired multiple shots towards the stage from an elevated position outside of the venue, hitting former President Trump, killing one attendee, and seriously injuring two others. While the shooter was able to pull the trigger, Dr. Robert Sanders, the former chair of National Security, believes that the shooter was most likely killed instantly in return. There's a counter-assault team that Secret Service has that accompanies the president, the vice president, and certain other individuals when they move. And uh, they have their own set of snipers uh, and they have the ability uh, without getting too much technical data to pinpoint where shots are coming from uh, and to be able to return fire to the place where the shots come from. Tonight, Trump took to his Facebook page, thanking the Secret Service and law enforcement for their rapid response, also issuing condolences to the family of the life lost. Dr. Sanders says, unfortunately, we've been here before. We can go all the way back to the shooting at the softball game, which was left shooting right, to the violence on January the 6th, which was the right again. So, and this appears to be something from the left toward the right again. With America's democracy possibly in peril, Dr. Sanders says violence isn't the answer. You can disagree with your fellow American without turning to violence. A lot of reaction pouring in right now, both on social media and in person. 